Topher College is known for its beautiful landscapes and rolling hills. But to check out everything that the campus has to offer, you have to see the Dr. Daryl Carnes Historical Hiking Trails. Today we're going to be hiking the hills to try to find some of its hidden treasures. So grab a friend. And a hiking stick. And let's hit the trails. With four trails winding through Hanover's 650 acres, you'll find a place to hike whether it's your first time or you're a seasoned hiker. You can see sweeping valleys and enjoy the shade of the lush canopy overhead. You might chance upon one of Hanover's three waterfalls. Don't forget your hiking boots, you'll need them to climb the hills. Hanover College was founded in 1827, and since that time students continue to use the Crow Valley Trail. Students in the 1800s would port on the Ohio River, then take their possessions and books, climb the steep hillside steps making their way to the school. That's where the students had to go to get to class, and they're still there, it's well preserved. It makes the campus that much more beautiful. During the freshman orientation, new students recreate the hike as a way of connecting with Hanover's long history. Scattered along the Daryl Carnes hiking trail are many bonfire pits and unofficial camping sites where hikers can take a moment to appreciate all of the natural beauty around them. There are many historical artifacts and memorials. You may even want to set up camp here with your friends, but there are a few things you should know before using an unofficial camping site. There's nothing in there, so we have to gather up some kindling, some dry wood. Can't do it after it rains, obviously, because the wood's going to be too wet and uh, usually bring some paper of our own, lighters or matches. And uh, you start a fire, everybody gathers around and tells stories. Uh, sometimes we bring marshmallows or hot dogs and have ourselves a little roast. You can see many different animals while hiking along the trail, such as the American toad, which is typically two to three inches long and either gray or brown. Hikers can also go bird watching. Rocks and down trees are ideal spots to find snakes because snakes are ectothermic and we'll be looking for moist shady areas to cool down on a hot sunny day. This is actually known for the Daryl Carnes Historical Trail. He was known as a herpetologist. So if you're into snake hunting like I am and you like herpetology, this is a good trail to come check out. The beautiful natural wildlife on the Daryl Carnes Memorial Trail is being threatened by invasive species not native to the area. This garlic mustard plant came from Europe in the 1800s for culinary and medicinal purposes. It can grow up to four feet tall. The problem with invasive species is that they crowd out species of plants that are supposed to be here and so that we don't have our natural historical vegetation. We lose some of the diversity that makes this place special. For serious hikers, there are plenty of waterfalls just off the trail to see up close. If you go down the Natural History Trail and you take a left, you'll end up at Horseshoe Falls and it's definitely worth the hike. Horseshoe Falls in particular is a tricky hike, and it is a dead end, so you're going to have to come out of the falls the same way you came in. Be careful, it's a slippery track, but when you see the falls in person, time stops. Hanover College is known for its beauty, but the real meaning of beauty is shown when disaster strikes. Many parts of the forest were torn apart when a deadly tornado ripped through Hanover in 1974. But today, new trees have replaced the old trees, which are still scattered throughout the forest. A good part about the trails is that you see these fallen trees and that you see that something this catastrophic has happened to this small community. So now, as hikers walk by and see these damaged trees, they remember the tragedy that took place in 1971. We don't know why tragedies like this occur, but nature always finds a way to recover. As we have seen through our hike through the hills of Hanover, there are many different trails to run, wildlife to be seen, and winding creeks to follow. This is part of what makes Hanover different from other college campuses. The tranquil scene at Hanover makes for a great way to escape for a break on a busy day. Here we are at the end of our scenic hike here at Hanover. It was a long trip, but I think it was worth it. Definitely. Hanover has a lot of beautiful nature trails to look at. I think my favorite part was all the waterfalls that we have here. It's so cool how many we have on campus. Right, and I really enjoyed the view from Scenic Hill. You guys can see everything that we saw and more. Just come on down to the Dr. Daryl Carnes Historical Hiking Trails.